Zump and Sudi were brother and sister, and they lived in a normal house, in a normal town, and did normal things. One afternoon, after school, they were relaxing by a river. The sun shone warmly and the birds sang tunefully while they chatted happily together. As they gazed into the water, Sudi turned to her brother and said, Sump, I've been thinking. Sometimes I wish things weren't so normal. I wish we could get away from the noisy road and traffic jams. I wish something a little more exciting would happen. Zump agreed. It's not so bad by this river, though. It's so quiet and peaceful. But as he spoke, a strange sound began drifting over the water. It was a funny, bumpy sound. And was so out of place that Zump and Sudi jumped up straight away and set off to find out where it was coming from. As they rounded a clump of trees, they saw the oddest thing. It was a house, but there was nothing normal about it. It was purple and shaped like an enormous piano with windows, a door and chimney pots. The music they heard changed. It became sweeter. Sump and Sudi were enchanted by what they saw and what they heard. Just before they reached the front door, which had huge piano pedals as steps, a well-dressed man and a well-dressed lady appeared from inside. They were wearing purple clothes. Sump and Sudi thought they looked familiar. The two children stared in wonder as a jolly, jaunty tune emerged from the house. The gentleman smiled at Zump and Sudi and said, I'm Professor Haber, and this is my wife. I'm Professor Key, she said. Zump and Sudi still stared and suddenly realised it was their long-lost great-uncle and aunt, their two eccentric and scientific relatives they'd heard so much about from their mother. Come in for a cup of tea and a big piece of piano cake, said the professors. The bumpy sound started up again. Sump and Sudi accepted the kind invitation because they wanted to find out exactly what was inside the purple piano house and to taste the cake. Once inside, they found themselves in a grand hallway with a floor of purple marble. Has it been a boring day today? Zump asked both professors.
Yes, shouted Zump. Has it been a thrilling day today, Zooty? No, shouted Sudi. Well, we've got something thrilling to show you. We're inventors, explained the two professors, who always talk together. The two of them began pacing up and down the stairs, which not only looked like the keys of a piano, but made a piano sound too. It's our greatest invention, they shouted excitedly. You see, the whole house is a piano. And they played their favourite tune. Sump and Sudi were flabbergasted. Come and listen to our cellar, and in a blink the professors leapt down the stairs to the basement, where they kept the spare strings, and in another flash they were upstairs, hopping about in a blur of dancing steps. But there's something much more exciting about the purple piano house, said the professors tantalisingly. And in a whisper, they revealed its greatest secret. It can fly. And everyone cheered. But it's no ordinary travelling machine, the professors added, rather mysteriously. It can travel through space and time too. We'll go for a ride. The professors twiddled with switches and levers and dials, but it wouldn't take off. What's wrong? asked Sudi. Not enough notes, young lady. We need more noise. And with that, the professors ran to the top of the piano key staircase and came crashing down, making as much noise as possible. But in their desire to make so much sound, something terrible happened. The piano went silent. It made no sound at all. It's blown a fuse, said the professors, up to the engine room. The professors led them to a large room on the third floor of the piano house. Few, panted the professors. Now which of these fuses needs fixing? Sub and Sudi were astonished. There must have been a thousand fuses, each in its own little fuse box. The search began. Aha, here's the one. Now we had to fix it with a tune, mumbled the professors. Zump tried this one. Nothing happened. Right tune, wrong key, said the professor. Try it in C major. Ah, right key, but the last note was wrong. Try it again. That's the perfect phrase to mend a fuse, both professors announced together with delight, and they played a fanfare.
Then they all made their way back downstairs for hot tea and delicious piano cake. Now, continued the professors, let's play, and they asked Zump and Sudi to join in. The professors began playing first. They started gingerly, being careful not to blow any more fuses. made high sounds that tinkled like silver buttons falling on a plate. and Zump's melody was mellow like soft caramel chocolate, neither too high nor too low. Suddenly, the whole purple piano house began to move. The professors grinned delightedly. Here we go, shouted Zump and Sudi. And so, the purple piano house, with the professors and Zump and Sudi safely inside, began to fly. Over the countryside they flew, over that river they'd recently been sitting by, over the noisy town they live in, and off on their next adventure.